welcome everybody uh, to this new series learn with and today we have with ourselves ramon sack uh, what's up man hello bro how are you all good yeah fine what about you <laughs> i'm doing great bro uh, so what are we going to see today uh let's talk something about information disclosure what i mean sensitive information disclosure <laughs> okay so the thing is what i have learned um while doing some research that most of the time when we look for information disclosure things we actually have to perform deep recon okay if you escape this part recon then you may end up with uh, having some common issues but if you do recon well then you can get really really deep inside things so i will mention them later on so first thing you have to perform a better recon okay so what the thing is important while doing recon for web based things you have to collect unique subdomains okay subdomains when i started i saw people just doing passive things like passive subdomain enumeration so it will end up with having some duplicate issues cause uh, anyone can get those subdomains but if you do things like active and permuted enumeration then you will be ended up with having some deep inside subdomains so from there you can collect some more information and here i can give you a tip that tip is like okay but let me start from here so you have subdomain like uh, stack minus dev dot site dot com okay then you have like tag dot dev dot site dot com you can also have tag one dot site.com so here you have to give your full attention whenever you see subdomains like this you have to uh, collect them out okay so for this type of subdomain you can collect in a text file for this in another text file and for those things in another text file so for subdomains like one two three you can uh, brute force here with the numeric value if here is tag one you can try with two three zero something like that and for stack dot dev those things you can just uh, par uh, perform and brute force here like dev admin okay then user something like that and <laughs> and for those things here the most important part so if you see something like this minus or hash stuff like stack uh, hash dev you must have to perform a port scanning here so those are the subdomain comes with some non-standard port uh, they have by default running some web application that are daemon vulnerable so you will see that this type of subdomain have a port like 8065 something like that and running a vulnerable web app and uh, this web app also may have register open so you can create an account as uh, whatever dev or admin and can take over the full web app so those are the area you will get sensitive information if you fuzz if you perform a fuzz here sorry not here if you perform a fuzz here uh, you will get sensitive files if you get fuzz here sensitive file fuzz here sensitive file but if you have subdomain like uh, sub.site.com if you fuzz here i don't think that you will get sensitive file here but for this type of subdomain if you fuzz uh, you will get sensitive things so while doing recon this subdomain enumeration is really so important and you can end up with having this type of things while uh, digging deep into subdomains 
so here subdomain brute force is, is important right uh, can you suggest any word list oh here uh, i have to say something interesting here people actually think that uh, everyone have some kind of a private word list but it actually not like that you it depends that where you are fuzzing if you are fuzzing here it doesn't matter what type of word list you have it's just a normal subdomain you will end up with having nothing but if you fuzz here at this point if you just run common.txt here okay you will get some juicy file for sure it actually depends where you are fuzzing and yes you can use a tool it's called q maybe so this tool actually help to uh, collect some words from uh, subdomains yes target specific word list and you can fuzz with these things in general you can just go with common.txt for uh, general fuzzing hmm okay so let's summarize it again so our first initial step should be collect as much as subdomain possible uh, using various the method like uh, passive active permitted um, right? the main aim is to collect as much as subdomain you can and uh, then filter out uh, those interesting subdomains and do direct brute forcing right yeah and these things if you get you will get uh, rate uh, if you see this register are open there definitely you will get something interesting okay and uh, the interesting subdomain may look like uh, this right uh, stacking dev developer production you know. yes developer also maybe by admin and then we simply do a port scan using a uh, mask scan yeah mask scan and uh, there was another there another one rust scan maybe yes that one also help so we have to do a full port scan yes full port scan always full port scan okay got it because you will see ports like this type of ports are open always 8065 then uh, 10023 something like that random ports actually and then we do uh, direct brute forcing on interesting one. Yes, then you can direct brute force in every uh, place where you see custom word list, uh, custom web apps. That's an awesome method. <laughs> Thank you for uh, sharing with us. It was great talking with you. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice to talk with you. Anything you would like to share or say to the uh, people watching before we close the video? Okay, so the topic is actually information disclosure. So I just have mentioned the subdomain part. It actually uh, have a lot of things to do, but you will get them on fly. Uh, if I keep mentioning those more things, um, you will not understand anything because uh, those things actually depend on the web app you have like if uh, if you have a custom web app that have register open then you can do fuzzing there and can read their js files for sensitive endpoint like api endpoints and so and so on it actually depends uh, what you get from those subdomains your next approach depend on what you have from this subdomain enumeration things once more, uh, thank you for joining with us. Uh, hope so we can connect again. Thank you. You're most welcome, bro. Have a sweet day. Thanks for watching. You can also check out my previous video on Bug Bounty series. The link is in the description below. And if you want to stay updated with similar content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.